Hi, I'm Caroline Taylor, a third year athletic training student at the University of South Carolina. Today I'll be talking about how to use the Snell and Eye Chart. The Snell and Eye Chart is used to assess visual acuity. The chart is typically used during physical exams to determine whether the patient needs to wear corrective lenses. Most Snell and charts require the patient to stand 20 feet away. However, some charts, such as the one shown, indicate for the patient to stand 10 feet away. When assessing a patient, you will first have them stand the appropriate distance away from the chart. If the patient typically wears contacts or glasses, you can test him or her both with and without the corrective lenses. The patient will then cover one eye and read the lowest line of letters possible. If the patient misses more than one letter on that line, then he or she should try the line above it. Once the patient has reached a line where he or she can read five out of the six letters, then the clinician should record the fraction associated with that line. The top part of the fraction shows how far away the patient should stand from the chart, while the bottom number shows how far away a person with normal vision could read the letters. For example, if the patient can read the fourth line, then he or she can see at 20 feet what someone with normal vision could see from 80 feet away. A visual acuity with a denominator above 20 over 40 typically indicates a referral to an optometrist for further evaluation. A visual acuity score of 20 over 200 indicates that the patient is legally blind. This process should be completed for each individual eye and then with both eyes uncovered. While a traditional cell and eye chart involves letters, there is also a picture version that can be used when assessing small children.